Hi everybody, welcome back to Daisy. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use a uh, PC mod to show you where items are on the map in kind of a bird's eye view of the entire map. You know, a bit like, um, say, in the I Survive map. So if you want to know where tactical baking cans are. Um, now this can be very useful for a number of reasons. If you're new to Daisy and on PC, this can be very good to give you an idea of where things are. But also, if you run like a modified server with modified XMLs and you want to know if those XMLs are working, this is the way you can do it. So the mod we're using is uh, VPP Admin Tools or Vanilla Plus vanilla plus plus admin tools and I'll put a link to the steam workshop mod in the description below this video and then when you've got it installed all you need to do is you open it up and you just go to the XML editor um, and let's say we wanted to find say a classic one you know where are the m4a ones you know where's where's the um, where's the assault rifle we just find it in the XML editor you click on the item there and you click on get item stats and this then opens up a map as you can see there's only one now the server I'm on at the moment this is a vanilla uh, server it's a local server um, but it will kind of reflect what daisy daisy vanilla like is like as of 1.18 so as you can see there's only one m4a1 spawns at riffy in the chemical gas which is kind of what you would expect um, so let's say we mentioned tactical bacon didn't we so let's say you wanted to know where one of the best foods in daisy is let's say tactical bacon so there's tactical bacon can so we click on that get item stats so 13 of them will spawn in on the map and as you can see they're kind of around all the military locations there we go now this will only show show you i think where stuff is actually spawned on the map not if it's you know in somebody's backpack or something like that now an interesting one is uh say the new m79 grenade launcher so if we shut that down put in m79 you see there's the m79 if we say get item stats there aren't any and you're like oh why is that then why are there no m79s well one of the reasons for that is that m79 spawn in um, in dynamic events the new trains for example they spawn in there so if one of those events hasn't happened then you won't be able to find the find the item on on the map and if you don't know already events are spawned as you approach them so as you're wandering around the map events kind of in theory they're there they're kind of they get, they get the probability of an event happening say a train being there there's a probability a train is there but it's waiting for you to rock up for it to actually spawn in the spawn in the goods um, but what we could do is we could search for something like 40 millimeter explosive get item stats so these are the these are the ammo for the m79 as we can see again up at tizzy there's some there northwest airfield as leno military the stuff there as well and this is incredibly useful um, for when you're doing modified xmls um, because straight away you can see so if for example one of your modified xmls was to um, increase the number of m16s you could you could search for the m16 get the item stats and you could see where they were because if you adjust something for example like um where it will spawn like are you going from a military location to a uh, town or a, a village or maybe even changing the tier so you're going from like a tier uh, three four item to a tier one or two item so it would spawn around the coast you can see with your xmls are physically working that way which is incredibly incredibly powerful another one could be something like um uh, so the anti-chem injector so if you wanted that to spawn in other places apart from just in the gas because at the moment it's probably over here or is it is it no it's right it's at pavlovo military so this is the uh, other permanent gas zone so one of them has spawned in there but say you change that from um being in the gas zone to actually being in say just ordinary uh, medical areas um you could then see that straight away um you can even do things like you know pipsy ooh, pipsy so the drink so there's 26 of these so again if you'd increase the amount of soda cans on your server you could just click on that and you can see exactly where they're spawning in is there a higher density or or a smaller density of stuff as they're spawning in and you can see they're going on that way now do remember that these aren't permanent 
the way that the central loot economy works in Daisy is kind of cycled through. So these items will be there, they'll be there for a while, then they'll disappear and they'll spawn somewhere else. And the game is constantly churning through loot, spawning it in, leaving it there for a bit. If it's not in, it's not being interfered with, hasn't been picked up or nobody's looked at it or done anything with it, it will then disappear and, and spawn in somewhere else. But this is an incredibly useful tool. Again, if you're new to Daisy, it's really good because it kind of gives you an idea of where it should be, where stuff should be. So if you're particularly interested in finding things like um, uh, NB, say you're looking for NBC stuff. You can go, okay, so this is where NBC hoods are. They're basically in um, fire stations or um, medical places. Um, it's really good for that to get get you more familiar where things are for looting. But really, for me, the big power thing for me is if you run modified XMLs and you're increasing or decreasing loot, this gives you a fantastic way of being able to look at where stuff is on a server without having to actually spawn in um let's have a look uh, at the classic one so um Sta there we go stanag mag so that's the one for um the m16 and the m4 you know say you've increased the number of uh, magazines for m16s and m4s that you can see straight away where they are without having to do anything else so there we go v uh, vpp admin i'll put a link in the description below the video to steam highly recommend this mod i'll be sure you know as i use different aspects of it i'll show i'll show you how to um, use them as well but this this alone is definitely worth investing uh, and installing it on your local server or your remote server so you can um, find exactly where loot is so there we go hope you found that video useful if you have it like if you want to see more of the same press subscribe if you've got any questions about it or you've got any hints or tips please tell me as well um, that's enough from me and i'll see you again soon